Um, thank you for joining us um, today um, as we celebrate the launch of the Community Storm Preparedness Campaign um, with our principal NRMA Insurance. Um, we're very proud to um, share a joint mission with NRAM Insurance and to build uh, strong and resilient communities. This is actually our first joint campaign with NRMA Insurance and one of the largest targeted public education campaigns we've launched for some time. Um, NRMA Insurance will speak about some of the data um, around community preparedness, but our hope is to provide simple calls um, to action for um, the community to prepare for the extreme weather that we've got to come. Coming off the back of National Volunteer Week, we're extremely proud that our volunteers can be a key focus of the campaign, um, and we have some of them here with us today. In South Australia, we've been experiencing some very dry conditions over the last few months. And as winter approaches, um, that can mean that we have a higher chance of falling branches during um, extreme weather. And that's obviously going, can have serious consequences for the community. So we've got some key calls to action. Um, start with trimming those overhead branches that are around your property, uh, clean your gutters, check your drains, tie down any lo loose outdoor furniture should it become windy, and check what your insurance covers. We encourage people to uh, visit the SES website and to make some simple, proactive steps to minimise potential damage to their property. I now take the opportunity to introduce the Honourable Dan Cregan, Minister for Emergency Services, to say a few words. Thank you, Liz. It's a pleasure to be here this morning and I also acknowledge that Matthew Bennett from NRMA is present and also our volunteers from Sturt, Enfield and Western. Thank you for joining us and thank you also for your excellent service to the state. It is appreciated. We know that winter is on its way and we're asking South Australians to be prepared. We know that one in three South Australians feels underprepared for the winter ahead and we know that early preparation can of course save property, lives and insurance claims and we're absolutely determined to ensure that South Australians are thinking about these issues in the lead up to winter. I'll turn to Matthew Bennett who has additional information on some of the research that's been undertaken uh, to inform um, our steps that uh, we're taking to ensure that South Australians are prepared. I also acknowledge the Ghana people, the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet here today, and I pay my respect to Elders past and present. I also extend that respect to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. <clears throat> thank you, Liz, for your introduction, and thank you to you, Minister, for coming here this morning to share your support. NRMA Insurance has been a proud partner of the South Australian SES for two years, with a shared goal to help South Australians prepare for severe weather. As an insurer, we see the first-hand impacts of extreme weather and we know taking small steps uh, to prepare yourself before an event occurs can go a long way and make a big difference to protecting yourself, your loved ones, your community and what matters to you. Our research shows that one in three South Australians do not feel prepared to respond to extreme, matter, to extreme weather. The number one barrier to getting prepared is thinking that it won't happen to me. The second is not knowing what to do. 31% of South Australians say they don't know what steps to take uh, to respond in, a, in, in, an, in an event. It's clear that education is a key to helping protect South Australians from the impacts of extreme weather. Our campaign will be running uh, above the line until the 31st of July 2024 across out of home, radio, social and print media. There is also a dedicated page on the SASES website providing practical information and advice. In addition, to raising, in addition to raising awareness of weather risks and how to prepare, the campaign also recognises the tremendous work of our SASES volunteers to keep our community safe. When severe weather strikes, they are often the first to respond, putting their lives on the line to help others. They are there to help us, but we can also help them by being prepared. I'd like to thank a few very special SAS, SASES volunteers who are with us today, Jane Harris, Graham Modestarch and Sachin Bamani. Thank you, and also you feature heavily in the campaign, so congratulations. 
As extreme weather continues in its frequency and severity, it's imperative that we continue to work together to help build resilient communities. At NRMA Insurance, we are investing significantly uh, and working closely with community partners such as the South Australian SES. This campaign forms part of Help Nation, an initiative by NRMA Insurance to help Australian communities understand their risks and how to prepare for extreme weather. Just how long have you been an SES volunteer and why do you do it? I've actually been with Sturt SES now for about seven months, but I've actually been around the unit for seven to eight years. My husband's been a volunteer there, and um, I've been a part of the broader Sturt family and the SES family, and I've seen the amazing work that they do, and I think I bit the bullet this year and said, I'm joining, I don't want to miss out on this anymore. For me, though, it's just about being a part of our community more broadly, so it's the proactive stuff, it's getting into our community, working with them to prepare, as we're talking about today, but it's also about, in their biggest moment of need, getting in there and actually providing a help to someone. So it might be that something's been destroyed, it might just be a tree across their driveway, but we get in there and we help because I think it's that empathetic drive to, to want to help people and help our local community. And that selfishly gives me a sense of satisfaction, but I can see how helpful it is to the local community as well. You've got on your sign here that you, you've got, they help you, preparing for storms is how you help yep. them. When you go to a job and you've seen that people have done the right thing, is that better for you? Oh, it's so much better. It, it, it really is, a, it helps us a lot. Um, even to talk about preparation, if we can turn up and we can see you've done A, B and C, but your, your gutters are full, here's a little trail, a little spade that we hand out to people, get up there, we can help you with this bit here and now, but here's some stuff, get some family over the weekend, clear it up and hopefully we won't need to see you again. Um, it makes a huge difference, it really does. As a volunteer, you know, when you've gone to jobs that people have not done the right thing, what, how, how much more difficult does that make it for you? Look, it, it, it can make it more difficult, it certainly can, but sometimes it's no fault of their own as well. It might be that they're perhaps elderly or infirm or are unable to do the work or on a, maybe on a big property. Um, but yeah, it, it certainly does make it a lot easier if do, people do take that little bit of time to prepare, get their family around, do some work over the weekend. It certainly does make a big impact. And just this campaign, to be a part of it, what's that meant for you? It's actually, yeah, it's really exciting. It's, a, it's an amazing opportunity. I'm so grateful to everyone for inviting me to be a part of it. Um, it's starting some great conversations and I think even online we're seeing lots of conversations starting around, yep, we're seeing it, we're talking about it, we're seeing it on billboards which is fun and exciting but it's really about conveying that continual message around, yep, it is fun, it's great seeing me up there and I'm having a lot of fun doing it with my colleagues over here but it's, the key message is it's there for a reason. So go home, check your gutters, check your trees, um, have a look around the house and make sure that you're ready for this, for this winter that's coming up. Uh, as a volunteer, how you know much easier does it make it when people are prepared? Yeah, it always makes it much easier um, because we're going to less call outs, it's less onus on us to respond as volunteers because we don't get paid for this, um, we do this off our own back. Um, so it's always really good to see that you know community members are doing what they need to do to be prepared for storms um, and you know cleaning gutters, clearing trees, making sure that we have access to properties in those tight areas, um, like our trucks are pretty big. Um, so I'm in a metropolitan area and that's not so much of an issue, but with our rural areas, you know, big properties, big trees, especially up towards the hills, um, we can see that access and egress to properties can be a hassle sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it's always really good to see that uh, communities are prepared. Yeah. What can go wrong? Um, lots of things. Um, there's all sorts of risks, like if you don't trim, trim back your, um, your trees and stuff like that. We see large gums dropping limbs um, all year round. So it can be in the, the winds of winter or the, um, the dry of summer. Um, so if, that's, if you're not prepared for your trees there, um, that can be an issue. If you don't uh, you know, empty your gutters, that can be a really big issue because water will come in through um, your roof spaces, come into your house um, and cause all sorts of damage. Um, lots of people sort of say they don't expect water to be this damaging, um, but we see ceilings drop, you know, create messes throughout whole houses and you know, people can have their lives turned upside down just due, due to a downpour. Um, so yeah. people need to be prepared? Ab absolutely, yeah. That's one key message we want to say is just be prepared and try your best.